Hey there! Folks! Welcome back to Health Spiffy, your go-to channel for all things health and lifestyle. Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for everyone out there navigating the treacherous waters of dating. Yep, you heard it right! We're talking about the types of people you should steer clear of when it comes to dating. Strap in! Because we're about to uncover the six toxic types of people you should avoid dating at any cost. Before we kick things off, Let's get one thing straight. Dating can be a jungle out there. But fear not, because armed with the right knowledge, you can navigate through it like a pro. So, let's jump right into it, shall we? First up on our list is the drama king or queen. You know the type they thrive on chaos and drama, turning every minor hiccup into a full-blown soap opera. Whether it's constant arguments, exaggerated emotions, or endless gossip, these individuals can suck the energy right out of you faster than you can say, drama alert. Next, we have the control freak. This person's motto? My way or the highway. They'll micromanage every aspect of your life, from what you wear to who you hang out with. Forget about having autonomy or making decisions for yourself with a control freak, it's their way or no way. Moving right along, we have the serial cheater. This one's a no-brainer, folks. They'll charm their way into your heart, only to break it into a million pieces when you discover their wandering eye. Trust? Forget about it. With a serial cheater, monogamy is nothing but a foreign concept. Ah, the narcissist. They're the center of their own universe, and they'll make sure you know it. Everything revolves around them their needs, their wants, their desires. And if you dare to challenge their inflated ego? Well, Let's just say you'll be in for a world of gaslighting and manipulation. Up next, we have the emotional vampire. These individuals feed off your emotions like a vampire feeds off blood. They'll drain you dry with their constant neediness, leaving you feeling exhausted and depleted. And the worst part? They'll guilt trip you into thinking it's your responsibility to keep them happy. Last but certainly not least, we have the commitment phobe. They'll run at the first sign of emotional intimacy, leaving you wondering what went wrong. No matter how hard you try to make things work, they'll always have one foot out the door, terrified of anything resembling commitment. Phew! That was quite the roller coaster, wasn't it? But fear not, my friends, because armed with this knowledge, you'll be able to spot these toxic types from a mile away. Remember, you deserve nothing but the best when it comes to love and relationships. So don't settle for anything less than you deserve. That's all we have for today, folks. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Until next time, stay healthy, stay spiffy.